Ah, the guest we've all been waiting for is finally in the building. I'm talking about former member of Camp Mula, of course, Camp Mula, the BET nominated group. And, uh, you know, she's gonna be here performing, you know, an a cappella in a few, so stick around for that. She's gonna be one of the headliners at the African Nouveau Camp next week. Karone is in the building, and before she takes it away, I just want to ask DP to come back on set because about DP to live on the other. I don't know why people always take me outside the city. DP. Now, today you've told me to remove my shirt. DP. Ah, me, I, I don't like these things. And then you removed it to get no cover, Villa, to a Yes, this is, is you're making me look <laughs> like, like I'm okay. a cool kid. Okay, first, I am a very old man. First of all, explain to Karun why you are out of set. Then, this, you know, this, <laughs> these people. They told me to remove my shirt, that it is a pinky. Oh. It looks like the set. Yeah. Oh, I yes, yeah. so I just started to look like a cool kid because you're coming on but the today show. You're cool. Like it's cool. Yeah, yeah. But today you're still feeling pink because it's bad to shut your mouth to you pink. Don't you make me... <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kar is, oh, no, no, DP, DP, we are sorry, come back, please, DP just come back, come back. Karun is wondering, I catch. you know, Karun is not even getting why uh. you, you have that accent. Please just tell her. Oh. And <laughs> you see, on this show, I am the cocktail. Okay. Because I come from Kenya, Uganda, and Rwanda. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. so I'm a cocktail. So when you go to the bar, you just ask about me. Just say, <laughs> I want a DP. Give me two, four shots for of sure. DP. After this, yeah, I'll be yes. asking. You're here, welcome. You. And for the first time, you, you're gonna be here and you're gonna do for us an a cappella before we get to know more about you. Right now? Yes, please. Yeah, take it away! <laughs> da, 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 da. Please oh, put my name somewhere. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, rewind, rewind. This is called, uh, this is um, Roses. Okay. Oh, but your skin let me be Floating fingers over your skin like I know you want me. I always want to wake up like that, like that. Roses on my bed, on my bed, on my bed. Be my medicine, like you said, like you said. I never knew love, like that, like that. I never knew love, no. Okay. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your turn. This is going to be some of the vibes at <laughs> African Nouveau. And yeah, take the mic, DP. Try, 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 try. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you cannot <laughs> ashamed me on national television. <laughs> <laughs> My family are watching, please. <laughs> I cannot compete with such a sound. Vibrant, sexy. Uh, You're making mm. okay. Flinch actually just look at you. But then, uh, the one with the nice skin. You know, I'm texting, <laughs> okay, I'm texting okay. about roses right now. I'm texting about roses right now. So, <laughs> roses on the bed you shall find. Wow. <laughs> awesome. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Yeah, 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 she will. Welcome again. Uh, now, uh, you know, we have to take it back because it's been long since we saw you. Since 2013, a lot of people said, oh, the breakups, did this, this, this. Right. But we just want to know mm -hmm. today. Oh, from me? Yes. From, from the me. horse's mouth? Yes, from the horse's mouth. Before um, we I think we just grew apart. Mm -hmm. Like, we tried to make it work, but it wasn't just, it just wasn't the right time. And I think now we're all, like, in a much better place, just doing things on our own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is this what you always envisioned before? Did you envision this? I kind of hoped it could work both ways. Like, we could do our solo things and also be in a group, but it just it didn't seem to work that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When I say any question? Yes. I want to know, like, um, so... You guys broke up at that time. Then there was like a gap where you were just working on your solo projects. Yeah. I think you also traveled at some point. Yeah, yeah, I went to that. school, the States. Yeah, I went to school, yeah, yeah. came back. Yeah. Then there's a time you guys had an appearance on an event where all of you went and performed. Yeah, yeah, it and was the launch of something, yeah. <laughs> great. And, and, and you know, uh, it was trending. You guys were trending for like a month or so. Yeah, it was an exciting time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what you want to know what happened the second know what time? Happened the second time, yeah. <laughs> so that's the time when we really challenged each other to be like, so are we in? Are we doing this? Yeah. Are we going to be, you know, work ethic? You know, now things are different. Like, we really have to work super hard. And um, I guess um, it was never going to work. Like, we tried, yeah. and it's not as simple as it looks. It, it's not just that, like, you have musicians, yeah. you have a brand, yeah. so it should work. It's yeah. just, that's just not how it happens. Great. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So, moving on, like, what's your sound? What's My sound? sound? Yeah. What would you, uh, what do you prefer to call it? I I like alternative R&B. I think I sit well in that. Yeah. Mm. Now, uh, 
You know, I noticed something when uh, I was researching about Karun. Yeah. Uh, you said you used to listen to the Ali Rihanna. What do you yeah. mean? Yeah. See, like Pondy replay days. <laughs> Those things. So, are you that party type? You're the um, party type. No, I just, I think I just um related to Rihanna those days. She was super authentic. She was um straight from Barbados. You know, she still yeah. had her, uh, um, I'd say Africanness uh-huh. as compo- yeah as, um, as compared, compared to, to most pop artists at the time. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of liked that. Okay, we want to get pa- personal, Kidogo. Now, there's this TV here. I think you can see it. The yeah, screen. I see. Now, we, I checked your social media, and there's certain pictures that we saw. Uh, we want to know the backstory from those pictures so i'm gonna be Long, playing some okay. pictures cool, yeah cool. i'm gonna be playing some pictures and then you just tell me what you think that's of the first what was one in that. that's the first one what was in that <laughs> that was the first day we went shopping with our baby i think he was like three months uh, yeah, yeah yeah so our baby meaning that's the father yes that's the father but you've kept the father on the low yeah yeah just um to protect the family you know hmm. yeah okay before i ask him all of that let's check out the next picture that hey <laughs> that was <laughs> When was that? That was at, uh, man, I don't even remember, but I was just having a lot of fun that night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what's that one word that comes to your mind when you see that picture? Festival. Festival. African Nouveau. Oh, <laughs> hey. you had to throw it in. <laughs> 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 Let's check out the next one and then see what Karun has to say about it. Mm, there. Spaceship. Spaceship. That's the first word that comes, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, What was happening? Was this, you know, when we saw the post, some of us thought this was the, the, reigniting of yeah so it was the launch of nrg Mm -hmm. and they hadn't like people didn't really know what was going on at the time so that was the first time we were in their actual studios Mm -hmm. which is like a spaceship um (laughs) so that was our first interview all of us together Mm -hmm. um yeah it was cool it was also nerve-wracking because we hadn't been in that light Mm -hmm. for a while um yeah do you think you would still come back and work or produce a song or make a song as camp mula ever we have so many actually we have songs but mm-hmm. it's just now you know after you release that song now what you have to perform you have to do the music video you have to approach yeah. it as a business and so working with friends mm-hmm. is where it gets tricky because we were all friends we grew up together mm-hmm. um when you throw business in the mix is when it gets tricky it gets tricky yeah, yeah okay we have two more pictures to check out let's check out this one that hey i'm in my element You're singing element. as usual yeah, yeah. what's your element explain to someone who's watching um when i'm in the when i'm just feeling the song mm-hmm. um i like really mellow emotional music mm-hmm. yeah yeah so, so that was it speaking about music and uh, mellow music what what's the process like in terms of you making your own music and sound is it personal experiences do you take up what people what you see or is that fiction <laughs> is that fiction it's a bit of both okay. um I like to do this thing called stream of consciousness writing where I just let it like pour out of me whether there's words or if it's just rhythms I just let it all out and I record it and then I just try and make sense of it after that so it's sometimes it comes from a personal space mm-hmm. but sometimes I also approach it like a songwriter where I'm like this is a this is a piece of art and I have a formula mm-hmm. and s- that's also fun sometimes so okay yeah. nice let's check out the last picture and then you tell us what this is all about my baby uh-huh. <laughs> his name is prince by the way prince yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. how old is he he is turning two next month mm-hmm. yeah, yeah what does it mean to you especially being a young how old are you now 23? I'm 24 24 <laughs> yeah, yeah, close <sighs> close, close. Oh, wait how old are you <laughs> me yeah is that is the knees yeah i'm actually proud of my age i'm actually 29 right oh yes. okay nice I love. dude i'm jealous of you I, I, you're I, almost I, in the 30s where like life is seems like it's better than in your it's 20s better. yeah it seems no, like I it i don't think so but how is it being a young mom um, it's cool. Um, I mean, obviously it's challenging, but it's like I get to. He makes me grow. Mm-hmm. Like he challenges me every day to be a better person. So yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Great. So how do you strike the balance from like being a mom and now you're making music and music also like is a full time thing that needs a lot of time and attention. How do I do it? Yeah, how do you balance it? I mean, you just have to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you so just have I mean, to. I feel like there's no other yeah, choice. I mean, do you have like a nanny? Do you like yeah, yeah, I do have a nanny. Yeah. Um, I'm still with my family right now, so yeah. my mom helps a lot, yeah. and I have a nanny who's like his second mom. Yeah. So yeah, I'm very blessed, and he's taken well with them. He's also in play school, so he gets to play with other kids because I'm usually really busy. Uh, yeah. Great. We're gonna get back to your music uh, again. Uh, now you went to states, came back. Do you feel like 
how harsh is the industry to you right now as a female artist? Uh, I think that whole question is like a bit outdated right. in terms of being a female. I don't know. Now, especially like, now, because we, we were used to you in the group. Right. Now you're solo. Yeah, true. Now. And now you're female. So they're not seeing you as, oh, Camp Mula as the right. group. It's now, this is such a lit time to be Kenyan. Like, I'm just so happy to be in the industry in Kenya right now because uh -huh. it's like open doors. Everything is possible. Uh -huh. So I'm not, I'm not finding it challenging. It's more like challenge accepted. I think every industry is challenging. So it's just growing up, adulting. That's it? Yeah. Clinch, any yeah. question you want to ask? Sizi Lezako, please. Just uh, there good is a questions. Ah. Do you have a date to Africa? Hey. Hey. When I'm working, so. <laughs> when you're working? I'm working. Yeah. So uh, it's it's not the time for date. Please tell her you'll also be working. Yeah, Can I ask what you use on your hair? Yeah. Your dreads. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, let's. <laughs> you guys should do this on uh, uh, <laughs> at the event. Let's 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 talk let's talk after the okay, show cool, as cool. as we organize on how we get to Africa. And All right, we'll do that. So Karun, today being Saturday, we have um we call it Super Fun Saturday. So I'm gonna jump right to Facebook and see what the fans are asking. Okay. And there's one here, Kitty Melody, who's saying, um, that chick is surely talented. Ask her why did Kamula break up? Okay, I'm, I'm sure we've already discussed that. Um. um is she continuing with her music on a solo career? Of course, yes. And uh, I really miss hearing her beautiful voice. Uh, that's uh, Kitty Melody who said that. There's, there's Tamara who's saying, Ask Arun, what's the one thing no one told her about motherhood before you, you became a mom? Um, so when I first gave birth, like, the, the amount of young moms that came at me just like with so much advice was yeah. just like overwhelmingly amazing. Yeah. Um, but one thing someone said to me really stuck with me. They were like, you have to harden your heart. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> like things can be hard, but you have to be like the rock for yeah. your kid. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. that's one thing I just, I didn't, I didn't ever think about that before. Great. Moving on, there's Betty Ross. Betty Ross who's asking, what is the inspiration behind your music? Feels, emotion. Yeah. All right. Just what do you feel. I was born in time? July. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes the two of us. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. There's one here. Um, Iman James, who's asking, like, what should you expect? Uh, what should we expect in 2019? So much content. Oh my God. I'm shooting so many videos, mm. like, as we speak. Yeah. So just say, yeah, more content. Mm. More content. More videos. Is it gonna be more like music. an EP album? Yes, there's an EP coming. Yeah. And there's a live album coming. Yeah. So just, yeah, just keep your eyes open. Great. Yeah. We shall. Of course, now we cannot also wait to see you next week, African Nouveau. I'm so excited. Someone was actually explaining yeah. to us, telling us yesterday that it's the, it's the what of, what is that festival? The Coachella. Coachella. It's the Coachella. Coachella of Kenya. Yeah. Hey, that's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. You think Honestly, so? I don't think there's another festival like on this level. Like yeah. what they're trying to do, it's amazing. Yeah. How do you feel being involved in the lineup? First of all, I was so honored. Mm. I mean, yeah, I've always wanted to do something like this, and yeah. I said this year, like I'm not gonna do anything that I don't feel yeah. 100 percent like in tune with and aligned with. Yeah. So when they asked me to perform, I was like, yeah, of course. You don't even have to ask me <laughs> twice. You don't even have to negotiate now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We saw that on your Facebook that you said you wanna do yeah. things that you're yeah. aligned with this year. Yes. So, speaking about uh, African Nouveau, what, how, how will your set look like, how sound like, like, what should we expect, uh, and when, and which particular day are you going to be playing? I'm playing on the 10th, that's the Sunday, yeah. and um, I'm going to be full, full band, so fully live, but yeah. with some studio elements, and I'm going to play some new music, yeah. oh. some new music that I'm really excited about, oh. yeah. so... Yeah, you just have to come and really experience it with me. Yeah, yeah I, will experience, I will experience with you. You're coming? Like, I am coming Yay. anytime I come. I always come. No, I'm oh. coming for the event. <laughs> <laughs> what are you people laughing? It I is my English accent. It is my English accent. All right, Greg, speaking about coming. Like <laughs> Bro, hey, hey. Tell us. All right. Tell us, please. Um, I'll try. We, we will try to catch you backstage on that particular day just yeah. before cool. you hit the stage. Okay, cool. I be can't waiting. wait to see where the nerves are going to be and what's, what's going to be going through your mind just before you get there. What? Uh, <laughs> I shall yeah, watch we'll you to the yeah, stage. But, but we look forward to, you know. With you some know. shaver. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure no one touches you until you get it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there security wise. Cool. <laughs> Fantastic. So we look forward to you know seeing you at the boxes. Do you? Oga, Oga, I have a question, teacher. Go on. Uh, teacher, 
you know I know Flinch as a as a DJ. He yeah. has become a security officer. <laughs> He's going to be guiding Karun. Uh, yeah. Yes, just for me. Just for her. Just yes, just for just me. that day. But DJ, every every person who comes here, every woman, Flinch says he's going to secure them. Uh -huh. Oh my God! What? <laughs> <laughs> That's Exposed. a lie. That's a lie. That's no, a no, lie. No. Yo. Actually, <laughs> now I know I'm the truth. I know the truth. I you usually <laughs> do this today. I'm the one who's leaving the set. I, I, this, uh, this is too much. It's too much. It's good to know. It's good to know. It's good to know. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna take it less serious because you've just noticed we've gone less serious. We're gonna play a small game. Okay. It's called this or that. This or that. Yes. yes. Okay. You ready for that? So you have ten seconds to answer. I'm gonna say two. Manas is gonna say two. What? This so I just that. respond to the first Yes, question. this or that. You choose what, which of the two. Okay. Yeah? Oh, okay. Remember? Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to just... Simple. Let's start simple. Yeah. Um, tea or coffee? Tea. Uh, ginger or honey? Honey. All right. Let me go personal. Light skin or dark skin? Hey. Man. Chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all oh, right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Natural hair or uh, weaves? Natural hair. But I, nothing against weaves, but yeah. Yeah, now you're here. Okay. <laughs> all right, summer or winter? Summer, all day. Oh, oh. Okay, let me do this. What? Yeah. <laughs> you're asking very simple questions. <laughs> me, I want to ask just a simple question so yeah. that I know. Okay. Now, I'll give you three choices, and then you tell me who you would date. Three. Three names. You okay. tell me who you would date. Okay. Why are you coming back? You've what? seen we are taking over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one I've done to our time in Alpha. Yeah, and yeah, I will not, yeah. uh, like I, I shall not. Okay, listen to this. This is good. Now, this is where we, the blockbuster, we're going to end this from here. Who would you date? Who would you marry? And who would you have a one night stand with? These are the three names. All right. Manasse. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is Manasse. <laughs> flinch. Uh, yeah. This is a Flinch. Oh, no. And Weke. Weke is this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do I have to answer? You have to. Do I have to answer? You have to. Wait. Marriage is a I'm strong giving you word. seconds. Oh, my God. Can I just shuffle in my head yeah. randomly? One. <laughs> Two. Wait, what? Ah. The time is there. That's the timer. <laughs> Wait, what was the options again? That, 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 who would you marry? Marry. Date. date. One night stand. Oh, my God. Twende. Hey, hey. <laughs> Marry, date, one night stand. Oh, one of, one of, oh. one of. You won't vote. You won't vote. I'm the, I'm the married one here, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, but, it was completely random, okay? Hey, like okay. you know, I don't have to come. It's a good one. Guys, let me tell you. When you, you have to do this when you, again. When you were picked word. as yeah. the one who gets married, so you already passed the test you were one night yeah. stand then you dated yeah. and you know you ended up yeah how do men feel about <laughs> marriage huh? mm. yeah. Yeah. yeah now we want to ask you what do you feel the question came because we wanted to ask you one first oh me a okay. asked you um is that's a piercing right this one yeah. right here yeah yeah how, how, was it painful that's what they wanted me of course it was painful but it wasn't that bad mm. this is a pretty soft area there's no cartilage like when you're piercing your ears okay now, Manasse, I want you to, uh, to also indulge Karun in terms of the vibe because yeah. that's a segment we really uh, Absolutely, yeah. put so much effort on and we want to know yeah. in regards to your comment and your opinions. Yeah. So, Karun, we have a hot topic each and every, uh, on each and every episode. Right. And today it's not very hot. <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's not very hot. Yeah, it's it's lukewarm. Just, it's just, in <laughs> it's just interesting <laughs> topics, you know. And, okay. uh, you know, topics that actually affect the youth. And what we, were ask, what we are uh, actually asking today is, do you think stereotypes lead to poor choices in life? And, the, and we're coming from this point. Say, for example, when um, you're, if you've just cleared high school, right. you're trying to go to uh, higher education, mm -hmm. uh, University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uni and all that, and you're trying to find the right course for you. Right. And you get all these you know, voices around you. Your parents want you to take this course because it's going to pay well when mm -hmm. you graduate. Yeah. Your cousins want you to do this. But you know what you love, but you end up getting swayed away to go do something else because of other reasons. Right. So do you think stereotypes can lead to poor choices in life? Whoa. I was just watching Blackish and they, that was like no. the whole theme of the episode was yeah. the guy wanted to take a gap here because he didn't know what he wanted. Yeah. And I, I don't know. Stereotypes are always bad. Always. Yeah. Um, I don't know how. I don't really understand the question, but like, <laughs> okay. I feel it's the it's pressure. Let, let me ask. Let me let yeah. me put it, put it in your element. It's okay. like now you are okay. Um, like you said, you wanna just do music that 
that that you feel like this is connected to me. Yeah. But now you meet promoters or you meet people who are like in the business who are like, this is the kind of sound that will sell. Right. 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 Yeah. So you end up doing that, which is not really you, yeah. but you want to do that so that the music can sell, right? So. Yeah. I don't think that ever works. Like people can tell when you're being fake and in in the end you end up losing out and you're not happy and then you end up oh years down the line doing what you really wanted to do and you could have just saved yourself time and money but it's so it's super tricky yeah. cuz like obviously people have to pay bills yeah. and like life is real yeah but i wish it was as easy as just following your heart al- always yeah right. does that answer yeah. your yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a very yeah. smart answer i must say yeah now before you give us your social media handles and also last words in regards to one being a young mom and of course any musician who's watching and also you can tell us about that kind of role in right. ending ones tell us any stereotype someone has had on you any stereotype that you've had about yourself and you're like <laughs> mm. dude i'm used to like brushing these things off immediately so it's almost like i don't know mm-hmm. if that ever happens to me i feel like it doesn't but obviously it does are you a baby when i do a baby oh <laughs> Yeah. You're a Barbie. Yes. No, I'm not a Barbie. <laughs> no, but I've heard that term. <laughs> God. <laughs> You're not a Barbie. I don't think so. So una jua mtungu ya suna chiki juzi kama tulikuwa tunachapa wax pale nini? Tuchapa foot pale inadi. Inadi. Okay, just define Barbie. <laughs> just define <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 And what about website karumusic.com hey karumusic.com yeah. well, tell us uh, last words to any young mom who's watching you and also is a fan of you and loves what you do and also just last words in terms of music <laughs> young artist. moms you're strong as f so more power to you and i know what you're going through man <laughs> but yeah um <laughs> l- what what else uh, tell <laughs> us your last words in regards to any musician who's watching you and they're a fan of you and they want to become musicians. Hey, now is the time to be a musician. Honestly, just like do it. Just do it. I know you're scared. Put out that song. Just put it out. I know you don't know what's going to happen after that, but just just do it. Yeah. Even if you feel like you don't like it today and then tomorrow you like it and the next day you don't like just put it out. Just and then move on and then keep moving out. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. We really appreciate this t- the time you've had for us. Now we're going to check out your song Roses because but Yay. before before hey, Roses or Lilies. Roses. Roses. I really bought lilies. Ah, I, someone lied to me it was fringe. Anyway, let's check out <laughs> Roses by Karun right here on Switchboard for the first time with Karun in the building.